factors and multiples. They're different, but it's definitely easy to get them mixed up with one another. In this lesson, we'll go over factors and multiples. We'll start with refreshers, and then we'll dig into a problem together. Factors are numbers that divide into a number without having a remainder. Basically, the factor of a number divides evenly into another number. Another phrase for factor is divisible by. Factors of a number always include one and the number itself. For example, the factors of eight are eight, one, four, and two. Since eight, one, four, and two all divide evenly into eight. We would break the four down further, but it only factors down to two, which is already included in our list of factors. On the calculator section, you can use your calculator to find factors by finding the square root of the number and considering all the integers from 2 to the square root of the number you're factoring. I'll show you what I mean. If we're looking for the factors of 30, start by writing 1 and 30 down since we know that they're definitely factors of 30. Plug the square root of 30 into your calculator and we find it is about 5.47. So, we'll consider all of the integers between 2 and 5.47. These are 2, 3, 4, and 5, and we can add them to our existing list of 1 and 30. So now we ask if 30 is divisible by 2, which it is, since it equals 15. So we add 15 to our list of factors as well. Now we do the same with 3. 30 divided by 3 is 10. 10 is also a factor of 30. Now let's consider 4. 30 divided by 4 does not divide evenly, so we want to remove 4 from our list of factors. 5 is also a factor of 30, so we want to keep 5 in our list. And since 30 divided by 5 equals 6, we want to add 6 to our list of factors as well. 30 did have a lot of factors, but going from 2 to the square root made sure that we found all of them. Let's take a look at multiples now. When you hear the word multiples, think multiplication. A multiple is any number that is divisible by our original number. The first few positive multiples of 30 are 30, 60, 90, 120, and 150. In this case, 30 is a factor of each of these multiples. For another example, 30 is a multiple of 15, since 2 times 15 is 30. This means that 30 is also a multiple of 2. Now that we know that factors and multiples are cousins, let's take a look at a problem together. If x has factors of 3, 5, and 19, then x must be divisible by each of the following except. Our answer choices are a, 3, b, 8, c, 15, and d, 57. Let's underline the facts. x has factors 3, 5, and 19, and x must be. Then we want to circle the key terms, divisible by and except. This last one is really important because it's telling us that we're looking for the one answer choice that isn't a factor of x. Finally, let's label the answer choices so we're sure to answer the right question. Now we want to pick a number that will work for x. Since we know that 3, 5, and 19 are all factors of x, let's pick the product of all three. You won't be able to use a calculator on one of the math sections, so let's practice doing this multiplication by hand. 3 times 5 times 19. We'll start with 19 times 5, which is 95, and 95 times 3 equals 285. So our number is 285, and we need to find out which of the answer choices it's not divisible by. We want to divide 285 by each of the answer choices. On the calculator section of the SAT, you could use your calculator to easily work through these numbers. But since a question like this could also appear on the no calculator section, we're going to practice our long division. Let's start with answer choice A, 3. We already know this one. Since 95 times 3 is 285, we know that 285 divided by 3 is 95. No decimals or fractions here. 285 divides evenly by 3. That means answer choice A cannot be the right answer. Cross it out. Next, let's divide 285 by answer choice B, 8. 285 divided by 8 gives us 35 point and stop right there. If you need a decimal point, it doesn't divide evenly. We don't need to do the rest of the work to know that 8 doesn't divide evenly into 285. Let's hang on to answer choice B while we check the other answer choices. Let's approach answer choice C, 15, in a slightly different way. 
As we already saw, 3 times 5 times 19 equals 285, which means 15 times 19 equals 285. So 285 divided by 15 equals 19, which means 285 is evenly divisible by 15. So C is wrong. Before we move on, let's just look at one more way of approaching this answer choice without a calculator. Since 3 and 5 are both factors of 285, 3 times 5, or 15, will also be a factor. So 285 will be divisible by 15. You don't have to do any division. You can just cross off C. Finally, let's look at answer choice D. We can do long division here, but let's look for an easier way. We know 3 times 5 times 19 equals 285. 3 times 19 equals 57. So 285 is divisible by 57, and answer choice D is incorrect. Answer choice B is our answer. Circle it. All right, you get a sweet treat for successfully working those math skills. This problem had a lot of little steps, but knowing exactly what we were looking for and using our knowledge of multiples and factors really helped us move quickly and answer correctly. On the calculator section, you could move even faster, but keep practicing these basics. Knowing your foundational math means you're one step closer to SAT success.